Hi everyone, my name is Mustafa Barry. I'm one of the GAs working with the Service Learning Academy. Today, I will be sharing with you some thoughts and reflections on the oatmeal reading about belief, tying it to perception, and the cultural ice bath. If you have not read this story, please pause this video. You can access the reading at the link listed on the screen. It is a long reading, but please be patient. The reading provides some thought-provoking commentary. Once you are done, please hit play. According to the story, George Washington had wooden teeth because he lost most of his teeth in his 20s and had dentures made out of wood. But an x-ray of his dentures in 2005 revealed that they were made out of multiple properties, including gold, ivory of a hippo, lead, and donkey teeth. This rendered his mouth a petting zoo of nightmares. How did it feel learning this information about George Washington? Think about your feelings as you were reading this information about George Washington. And now, think about the feeling you will be having while I share a little more with you. There is zero evidence that Jesus was born on the 25th of December. The Pledge of Allegiance was written by a socialist. How do you feel about these last statements? At least it felt different from the ones about George Washington. Yes? Anyway, I am not here to convince you about anything that was said. That is not the point. The point is, according to the author, to give you an emotional barometer of how you feel when presented with new ideas. The cause of the mixed, of the mixed feelings is due to the fact that the information presented shook our core beliefs. Core beliefs are the beliefs people share the most. They are inflexible, rigid, and incredibly sensitive to being challenged. There are obvious cultural and biological reasons for this. You may have held a worldview that George Washington, a patriot and a hero. By presenting negative information about him, challenge your view about him. Hence, you try to protect the view that you previously held. This is called, as in psychology, the backfire effect. It is important to remember that our worldview is not perfect. Since the human brain processes information in image form, for many people, images are stored in long-term memory. Therefore, a person will be able to retain visual information longer than what they hear or read about. It is easier to understand what we see, and that is why our perceptions are influenced heavily by what we see. Although the educational community is embracing visual enhancement in institution and instructions, the connection of visual and verbal information is evident throughout history. According to the poet Simonides, words are the images of things. Now, let us look at the iceberg. As we can see, an iceberg is like a culture in many ways. Some of the aspects of culture we can see by just looking are behaviors and perceptions that are, that are observable, such as language, art, religion, food, dress, etc. However, what we cannot see is way more than what we can see by just looking at a culture. Some of the aspects that we cannot see by just looking include norms, roles, beliefs, and ideals, etc. Looking at the iceberg on the slide, 
we can see that the larger part of the iceberg is below the water that we cannot see. This is true about culture. We cannot see the large part by just looking. Therefore, let us think about the oatmeal reading. Did you believe what you read? Is that source reliable? Food for thought. In conclusion, there are many reasons why we should try and acknowledge our biases and realize that our beliefs can impact our actions and decisions. Therefore, we must consider the source of the information we are getting. For whatever our perception is, will affect our actions in life. We thank you all for coming. We appreciate your participation in the SLA 2020 seminar. Welcome.